Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about conditionals. Uh, until now, we have discussed about input, output, variables, data types, and uh, uh, operators as well as these strings in Python. But we haven't discussed about the most important thing in Python or any programming language, which is the conditionals. If else blocks. If this. Else that. If that. If right. You must have heard about if else blocks a lot of times. So what are the conditionals? So let's understand with an example. Yeah, this boy is in the class eight, and he have two conditions. What if he scores more than eighty marks? If he scores more than eighty marks, he will get a phone. He will get a what? Do, what? Do, what will he get as a prize? He will get a mobile phone of his own if he scores more than eighty marks. Okay, and 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 there is one more condition. If he scores less than 80 marks if he scores less than 80 marks he have to uh, study for two hours he have to study for two hours okay so this is the condition i hope you got the condition i don't know why this is not easy. okay we'll use this one so this is the condition if he gets more than 80 marks he will be getting a phone but if he scores less than 80 marks he will be have to he will have to study more two hours okay he will have to study two hours extra so we have to write a program for this we'll be asking the user asking for the marks from the user that what is your marks and uh, uh, we'll be calculating from that if the marks are greater than 80 you will get a phone but if marks are less than 80 you will have to study extra two hours so how can we do that it's pretty simple first we'll create a variable which will store marks right so marks now we want to take it as input right so we'll simply write input please enter your marks right now we will ask for uh, users marks but how do we check whether they are uh, uh, more than 80 or less than 80 so we will be using if or else blocks so the syntax is like this first we write the if then the condition comes if marks the first condition is greater than 80 if marks greater than 80 first the if block then the conditional conditions okay so the first condition is if marks are greater than 80 what will happen we will write after the colon so just make sure you put the colon and hit enter the space which is left this is called as indentation indentation so this space means the next line is inside the above code what does this line means i will tell you so whenever i hit enter this space is automatically left and i'll start writing my code over here so we'll simply say you got a phone right so if marks are greater than 80 we'll be saying that you got a phone but why did we leave this space we left this space because this indentation this tells python this space tells python that this print statement this print statement will be executed only if the if condition is true only if marks are greater than 80 then only print will be executed otherwise it won't be executed what will happen otherwise we will write over here else if marks are not greater than 80 now if marks are not greater than 80 we'll simply print study for extra two hours okay we'll just simply write study for extra two hours okay so let's try uh, our basic program so please enter your marks let's say i got 86 marks assume that okay what is the error ah so there is an error that this is not supported between instances of a string and integer here this 80 is an integer but marks is a string why because by default input will be treated as a string so what do we have to do we have to write int in front of it like this okay now we'll simply run this program and let's say my marks are 86 and the output is you got a phone wow we got a phone because we scored more than 80 marks but what if i scored let's say i'll run this again uh, i scored 65 only oh i have to study for extra two hours because this condition is not met so the else block will run if the 
first condition is not met then the else block will run okay now there is some uh, uh, one more thing in this uh, problem statement assume if the marks are between 60 to 80 between 60 to 80 this boy is going to get a cycle the father is really in happy mood today and he wants to give this cycle only if the condition is that uh, the marks are between 60 to 80 okay so this boy will be getting a cycle only if the marks are between 60 to 60 to 80 but if the marks are below 60 if the marks are below 60 then he will be sent to a boarding school oh my god this is this sounds a terrible deal for the student right so if the marks are less than 60 the boy will be sent to a terrible uh, to a boarding school so now how can we write a program for three conditions at once so here in this code we'll slightly modify the first condition is already written right if marks are greater than 80 if marks are greater than 80 the uh, boy is getting a phone okay this first condition is true then we'll remove the else part what is the second condition if the marks are between 60 to 80 if the marks are between 60 to 80 so how do we check if something is between uh, 60 to 80 we will be using else if block else if sorry it's elif not else if the short form is elif so first is the if condition then the second condition will always be treated as a elif condition so elif marks are greater than 60 and marks are less than 80 getting my point if marks are greater than 60 and less than 80 okay so if marks are greater than 60 and less than 80 I've, i told you about the end operator in the logical operators right so if you want to uh, know about end operator again go switch back to the video and uh, uh, learn about end operator here we are using it so if marks are between 60 to 80 this line basically means if marks are greater than 60 and less than 80 then the boy will be getting a cycle you want a cycle okay by cycle and what is the last thing else if marks are less than 60 then the boy will be getting go to boring school oh my god now let's run our program and check let's say if i got 87 i'll be getting a phone right but what if i got uh, 69 i'll be winning a cycle i want a cycle but what if i got 45 you have to go to boarding school now there is a catch there's a slight bug in our code bugs are really 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 frustrating and i'll be teaching in that course how to deal with bugs so if i run this and if i write let's say my marks are 80 what should be happening if i got 80 marks oh my god our program says that go to boarding school but why uh, we won uh, we will be getting a phone or at least a cycle because we won uh, we have scored 80 marks right but it's saying go to boarding school why because we have nowhere handled the condition where the marks are 80 here we are checking if they are greater than here we are checking whether they are greater than 60 or less than 80 and here all other things are calculated so nowhere we are checking for equals to accept the else part so that is why we are getting the go to boarding school so in order to uh, rectify our mistake we can do this is equals to sign greater than is equals to and this makes our program bug free like this if i say i got 80 marks then you got a phone so i hope you guys are clear with the conditional statements now in this conditional statement we can offer multiple elif conditions if will be one and else will be one otherwise you can add multiple elif statements okay and give multiple conditions in the elif like here you can include the fourth condition fifth condition if in your problem statement there are four to five uh, different conditions okay so you can modify the code accordingly so here is an assignment small assignment for you guys you have to create a calculator you have to create a basic calculator using input and Mm, basic calculator using the things which we have learned all the things 
okay so what is the idea behind uh, basic calculator two digits will be asked as input and you have to perform operations all the mathematical operations on those numbers so i hope you guys will be able to do that in the next lecture i will be creating a basic calculator with you guys so bye bye